Hi guys, this is week two of Charm City Balcony Garden and I actually have not been able to do any of the things I was supposed to do last week. Hopefully I will be able to do that this week, but I wanted to show you how the plants were doing. First of all, look at these basil plants. They're doing so great. I was really worried that they wouldn't um, do very well, but they've really bounced back and they're looking nice and bushy so i have high hopes for these basil plants and the basil that i started from seed is also doing really good the little seedlings are looking nice and big and happy i really like basil seedlings i, I think they look really cute um, the one thing that i've noticed is that the potting soil is not that great at least the surface looks really stiff so I th I will be making more potting soil soon and I think I'm gonna add more peat moss to the mix to make it more fluffy because it just looks really dense here are the three kabocha seedlings and they all came up and they're all doing really good um, one thing I think I am going to do is pick one of the three out and transfer them into another five gallon bucket. I've always had problems with um, squash plants. Um, every year I seem to get one of those wormy things that eat the inside of the stem and they die before they get to live out their life. So I don't want to put um, all my eggs in one basket. Is that the right term? Anyway, so basically I want to have two um, and I think I will have an extra five gallon bucket so I think I'll take this one and keep this one in the current, current bucket. Here's the okra plant. Again, all four are doing really well. I have to thin this out. I'm thinking maybe I'll take one to the community garden because I have some space. Um, you'll see there's some whiteness at the surface of the potting soil. So in addition to like the lack of fluffiness, I don't know what the correct terminology is, I think there's like some salt that's coming up to the surface. So I'm not sure if it's um, harmful, but hopefully it'll be okay. I'll just, I just sort of scrape it off or mix it into the soil. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but that's what I'm doing for now. Here is the habanero plant. It is growing nice and bushy. It's not growing very tall, so it might be like a tight, small, bushy plant, and that's okay with me as long as it grows well. So looking healthy. The one plant that doesn't seem to be doing very well, it's actually, actually already bolting, is the oregano. Maybe it's already too hot. I think it comes up to the hundreds out here. So I'll just leave it and maybe cut it back a little bit to see if it can do any better, but it doesn't look too happy. I forgot to show you guys last week. I have this bucket of volunteer red perilla plant. Um, the perilla plant is self-seeding and I actually had it all over the garden but I had to pull it out. I just kept this one. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um, all the red perilla plant last year, I made this nice little juice out of it and it's very delicious and refreshing but I actually just don't need any more of that so I'll have to look into what else I can do with it. So finally, I have a question. I have these two um, five gallon buckets that I wasn't gonna use. Um, these are the buckets that I made. Um, but I also have these two sweet potato plants that I started. They never actually made any roots at the bottom, but I do have some um, leaves growing at the top. So I think I can just put this in a bucket. Now, do I, do you know, if I should bury this whole thing or should bury it, you know, like up to here or what I can do. I'm not sure actually if this five gallon bucket is going to be big enough, but what I'm just gonna do is bury it and try to top it up with as much soil as I can. Hopefully it'll do something, but I don't wanna throw it out. So let's see, it'll be a little experiment. Okay, so that's all I have going on in my garden for this week. Hopefully I will have a more complete garden next week. I hope to add some more containers 
this week and do some more general cleanup so I have the final setup. But let's see, I always say that and I never have time. So we'll see, take it um, easy and enjoy the weather and enjoy the growing season. Thank you guys all for watching again and until next time, happy gardening. Bye-bye.